Hi everyone, this is DFX Singapore. Today we are going to introduce you our latest gadget in town. This is the first release in the world. You will not get it anywhere else. We are the first to release. This is the P1 Ultimate Racing Gauge. Now why do we call it Ultimate? This is because we have used the latest chipset that gives us insane refresh rate and response time less than one second now let me show you a demo the response time is instantaneous see the rpm number and for the turbo as well this is the perfect racing gauge. No lag. Instant response and refresh rate. There are a total of 12 interface available for you to choose from. This is the first page and to change to other pages you just need to press the middle button to scroll. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you have a total of twelve interfaces. Just need to press the middle button to scroll. Alright, on the page itself, you can further customize the data to display. For example, these four corners you can change to other data. Just press and hold the left button. The left, the top left will now blink and now you can change by using the right button. To scroll to the next one, press the left button. Press once more and now it goes to the bottom. Right? And the right button to change to other data. Once you're happy with it, Press the middle button once to save and exit. Same for other pages. To change the bottom tree now, press and hold the left button. You can scroll over and scroll over and the right button to change, middle button to save. Alright, on this page, it's even better. You can change every data here to other data set that you want same thing press the left button right and then scroll over to the rows and columns that you want to change and the right button to change other data set and then press the middle button once to save and exit to enter the settings, press and hold the middle button. The first page will be your system settings. Most of it are self-explanatory, like this a speed unit, where you can change between kilometer an hour to miles per hour. Second one will be brightness. Leave it on auto brightness because it has a light sensor and it will adjust the brightness accordingly. For the LED brightness, this is to change the brightness on the both sides of the LED. Now if you want it to be even brighter, you can go for the second one. For this value, you put it up to the max and you will get maximum brightness on both sides of the LED. If you find it too bright, you can bring it back down. Until it suits you. The next one, LED color. This is to change the color of the LED. Let's go through the colors available. Alright. Okay, for those at the bottom, 
try to leave it on default mode try not to change any value unless you have compatibility issues which you can then refer to the manual inside the box and the manual will specifically instruct you which line and the value to set okay then for the quest mode leave it on default multi mode but some honda cars the newer hondas you may not be able to see your water temperature so you can come to the quest mode and change the value to normal once you have changed it to normal the meter should be able to read and display your car water temperature now but for all other cars leave it on multi mode clear DTC this is to clear your engine error code any simple engine error code you can actually come here and clear it the last one will be the factory reset in case you mess out any of the settings here just come to the last line do a factory reset and to exit back to the main page press and hold the middle button press and hold the middle button once more and you'll be back to the main page okay for other settings available inside the meter will be your second page special feature for this page try not to change anything inside just leave it on default next one for speed set speed choice will be obviously OBD this is uh, to retrieve the speed from your car OBD and display so it matches to the one that will be displayed on your dashboard the next one will be your speed alarm defaulted to 130 km an hour and once you go above it this thing will give an alarm and this LED will turn red so if you find it annoying you can set it higher Okay, the fourth page will be adjust this is to calibrate your speed in case you see the speed display on your speedometer is different to the one displayed here you can come here to increase or reduce you can slowly do fine tuning until it matches to the speed that is displayed on your meter next one fuel settings this is to set your engine displacement and the fuel calculation unit after you have set it this uh, meter will use the available data and calculate your fuel usage but as usual this is a calculation so it may not be accurate just use it as a guidance okay for clock settings leave it on plus 8 time zone and let the GPS download the signal and it will automatically update the clock whenever you have the GPS signal the clock will be matched and sync up to the GPS satellite so you don't have to set anything just leave it on GMT plus 8 okay the last one will be your alarm settings you can use the master switch to turn on and off for all the alarms and if you are using the alarm then you can further go down to individual lines and set the alarms that you the threshold that you want it to trigger the alarm for example RPM now 6000 so once you go above 6000 it will trigger an alarm 
water temperature 120 degrees. So if it goes above, it will trigger an alarm. So as you scroll down, you have a lot of other alarm settings for you to set. For the last one, rest alarm, this is your long distance driving alarm. So now six hours, it means when this meter has detected that you have driven continuously for six hours, it will trigger an alarm asking you to stop by the roadside and get some rest.